in fact, this is interesting. This is a sewer clean out. Northeast corner of the home. We've got another main clean out over there. I wouldn't call that a double clean out because they're too far apart. But it is interesting. Got some negative grading and drainage right in here. You see how the paint peeling off like that? That's not a bad paint job. I mean, it is a bad paint job, right? No, that's bad attic ventilation. That's poor attic ventilation. This electric receptacle outlet does not work. This rain gutter discharges too close to the house. We've got some vertical cracks through the brick and mortar right in here. More vertical cracks and separation at our freeze. Our rain gutters are leaking. Rain gutters have pretty much had it. I doubt they were replaced when the roof was replaced a little over 14 years ago. Take some measurements here. Start in the middle, give them the correct benefit of the doubt. <coughs> Five inches. Five inches. Five inches. <coughs> That's the separation between the door casement right here and the brickwork. That's what leaking rain gutter looks like. There should be a stand under that post to keep water from waking up and destroying it, but it's pretty much destroyed anyway. Got a vertical crack through the brick and mortar right here. Wood mulch next to the house. Checking. I guess they added more vents to help with the ventilation. They're going like, how come our roof is doing this? And so we had to add some more ventilation. Didn't work. Wood mulch next to the house. Where do termites live? In the ground. Hmm. I did. What do they eat? Dead wood. Okay. What's wood mulch? dead wood on the ground next to your house that's called a clue so it's known as a clue the tree should be closer than 25 feet to your structure tree 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 <clears throat> you're probably going to want to keep most of them i'm just telling you what it should should be bushes next to the house that's the ash door from the fireplace it's been bolted closed the back faucets don't work I wasn't aware of this guy over here And he works. Wood mulch next to the house. A little bit of high soil right in there. Now this isn't a wall, so I'm not gonna have that list of these these cracks in this. This is a planter box. The planter box is problematic by design. This should be excavated, cleaned out. Weep holes should be installed, drilled into the brick. It should be lined with a mastic sealer and then refilled. You're just holding termites and dirt and wood, excuse me, and uh, water next to your house here. I like planter boxes. But you got to take care of them. You just can't like put a planter box up there and forget about it. 
All that paint. If I don't sound real excited, I like to sound more excited than this. Look at all this cracking. When they come in and they filled in the driveway. It's coming up, spalling. This is a patch. They had a low spot in the driveway. It's filling up. It's kind of, they spread a little cement on there. Not even concrete. A little cement. Fixed it right up for a week or so. This is a better example of spalling. Actually, that's another patch. All this has been moving like the Atlantic Ocean. Look at the corners. See how low that corner is? See how low that corner is? That roof is sagging. And then the freeze board, it's a wide freeze board, is falling down over here. Not supposed to have extension cords used in a permanent application. It's going out to those sheds out there. Debris, debris. Stair step cracks between the brick and mortar underneath this window. Watch your foot on this step. <clears throat> I tried my best to determine that there were some termites in here, and I really think there might have been. I right here. I'm getting some galleys. I think there was termites. I think the biggest damage though is wood rot. See this whole porch, they built it straight down to the ground, wood to ground contact, conducive to the termites. They put a skirt around it with zero ventilation. And then somebody got the great idea to paint it. So the wood cannot, it's like taking a jar and turning it upside down and putting it on the ground. Surviving in the wilderness. And then the water comes out of the ground and it collects on the jar and then it falls down on a cup that you have inside of the jar. So any moisture in the ground when it comes up, this paint's not going to let it out. It hasn't been letting it out. And you took, you know, a 14-year deck and turned it into a 5-year deck. 200 pounds of lateral force? I don't think so. This thing's kind of scary to walk on. I'm serious. So I'm recommending a termite treatment. If for no other reason, based on this deck. Unless I can prove that it's been treated, because this is... And, you know, and this deck is it's, it's not safe. The rain gutter is kind of hanging loose here a little bit. I haven't tried this guy yet. I'll see what I can do with him later. Our fan paddles are kind of droopy. Speaking of droopy, our roof is kind of droopy. See how it's drooping right there? Ceiling. Our ceiling's kind of droopy. The front electric receptacle outlet wasn't, didn't work. This one doesn't work either. Reset you. Won't reset. What are you, a speaker? Yeah. Stair set cracks through the brick and mortar. This faucet doesn't work. That faucet, well. These steps are not dimensionally uniform. I don't think I would use this little bridge over the wishing well unless you were 
not wishing somebody well. <laughs> the not wishing well. Well. Okay, this doesn't have any power either. Should be sealed on three sides. All this should be replaced. Does not work. That exterior bib faucet. The one over there by those outbuildings does not work. Bring it her too close. Trees too close. You think so? And then check this out. Look at all this NM cable just laying in there. Coming up out of the ground, going back into the ground. What is all this? What is all this about? All on. Cracks in the grade beam wall, stair step cracks in the brick. You guys moving some heat? It feels like a little bit of heat. Yeah. That's the clothes dryer vent. It doesn't have a hood on it. This extension cord doesn't have any power to it. This goes to some kind of a device. Probably a pump under there. Doesn't work. Stair set cracks between the brick and water. Trees too close, bushes too close. Stair step cracks between the brick and mortar. Another crack in the grade beam wall. I found like no fewer than four across here. I found enough structural movement in and outside of the house that I am going to recommend a structural engineer. I wouldn't buy this house without a structural engineer. I'll put it that way.